square pose. Let's start with the legs in a butterfly position, the soles of the feet together, the knees wide. And for a lot of people, they're going to want to set up a little bit taller to begin out with here. So sitting underneath a block or sitting underneath a bolster will be helpful, especially if you notice that they're really rounded through the low back, they're kind of like holding on to the knees in order to keep them upright. Chances are they need to elevate the hips up off of the ground in order to make this a little bit more doable. So I will sit on top of a block just to show you. So let's begin by bringing the right foot forward and in front of the left. So as if they're in one long line here. So from here, if it feels okay, there's minimal to no sensation, instruct the student to start to walk the feet away from one another and begin to get the shins to come parallel to one another. So if this is simple and easy as well, there's minimal to no sensation than taking the ankle, the right ankle, on top of the left knee. So for me, it's actually a little bit more awkward sitting on top, but just to give you a little bit of uh, visual here, what it would look like. So once you're in the posture, the right knee is on top of the, the right ankle is on top of the left knee. Make sure the foot's not sickling, so it's not um, making this big kind of curve here along the side of the ankle. You can always bring the ankle a little further over to the left and keep the toes flexed in both feet just to protect both knees. So there's a little bit of distance in between the knee and the foot here. So I can gently place the right hand down, not forcing it, just adding the weight of my hand into it. Or I can support my knee with a folded up blanket underneath. So it may feel uncomfortable to rest in that position, unsustainable, but I can achieve it with a little bit of support underneath. And the same thing can happen um, if you have two blankets, you can also support the knees in that scenario as well. And place one underneath here. And if you don't, you can use a bolster or a block as well. So, how to come out of the posture. And go back the way that you came in on cross and you can lean back bring the soles of the feet into the ground and winch your back positions from side to side you also have the option to do deer pose as well so in this scenario I would bring my le right leg forward and walk the hands away from both of the legs and come down into deer pose from here. 